Hey y'all, it's your girl T Speaks. This is my take two on the previous video because I was just so all over the place. I'm gonna do it again. But story time and why it's so important to be in therapy, especially when you are leveling up on your life. Because therapy is going to help you reveal things that are hidden in your subconscious mind that could be stopping you and possibly causing you to self-sabotage. Therapy helps you to identify those things. So with that being said, I'm going to get into my story time and <laughs> the rent I was going on <laughs> to my therapist. <laughs> Let me preface it by saying if you have a therapist, kudos to you. You want to get a good one and you want to get one that you are willing to do the work that will push you and you are willing to be pushed. Okay. Otherwise, it's just a waste of time and money <laughs> and feelings. So I'm talking to my therapist today and we're talking about this real estate deal that I'm doing. Um, and the house has some foundational issues and I'm telling her about the conversation between me and the realtor and we're unpacking the whole situation. And we find out a good therapist is going to help you unpack. They're going to keep digging and digging and digging until you get to the root of, of the, the problem. And the issue with me, once we discover what the problem is, the problem is I don't want to deal with contractors. And the reason why is because I have a trauma response to, <laughs> to God awful contractors. Now I know that having a contractor on deck is incredibly vital. <laughs> To being a real estate investor <laughs> it's like it's 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 almost like having a car lot owning a car lot and not having a mechanic on deck or not having a freaking driver's license it makes no sense but i know that and i know that that's where god wants me to go i know that god wants me to be a real estate investor because that's what i've been you know doing that's what i've been getting dipping my my pinky toe in this past six months but i want to deal with contractors so we was unpacking the, the reason why. And the reason why is because when I was 23 years old, my, um, I had just got divorced. I had a two year old daughter at the time. She was two at the time. And we moved into our first home. I had purchased my first home right after the market had crashed. I bought it at a really nice price in, 20, in 2009 um, in Sacramento, California. And so my ex-husband is a contractor and he convinced me to allow him to remodel the home. And so he comes in there and he busts up the kitchen and he busts up, he guts the kitchen, he guts the master bathroom. He, um, he's just getting down and dirty. We live in, you know, on, on nothing. We live in on one sink. We surviving on one sink, which is the, the, the second bathroom sink. And so like exes do, we get into a few, you know, verbal disagreements. And he decides to stop work on the house altogether. <laughs> so me and his daughter are living in a house that is pretty much in, in demolition phase. There's no kitchen. There's no master bathroom. We're living on one sink, which is in the bathroom, the guest bathroom sink. And I can't remember how long we was living like that for, but it was long enough for me to say F it and throw my hands and call, a, call another contractor. And so here I am, 23 years old, in a new city, a new homeowner with a newborn, with a new child, a toddler running around, newly divorced, dealing with contractors, a whole world that I didn't know nothing about, a world that he said that he was going to make sure he took care of. The sabotage is real. <laughs> this part didn't come out so smoothly in the first video. That's why I'm redoing it now. The sabotage is real. You got to really be careful who you decide to lay down and have kids with, who you decide to be in partnership and business with, and who you decide to spend your time and energy on. Because it can cost you some money. This deal cost me a lot of money. I'm thinking about it's costing me so much money. I'm still thinking about it in therapy 12 years later. <laughs> now we're having our conversation. But it's real. And so I ended up having, you know, to fire the second contractor that I hired because he tried to get, get over on me too. Because lo and behold, I'm green, right? And I'm not knowing what to look out for. And... It, it, I, I ended up spending three to $5,000 to finish that remodel. 
the ex-husband just stopped dead ass in the middle of the remodel, right? With his ex-wife and, and, and toddler living in the damn house. Emoji face, question mark. Thinking face. And so that's why it's important to be in therapy because you real, you'll realize some of the angst and the, and, the, and the anxiety behind some of the life decisions that you have to make because the trauma response is real. Things that happened to us 10, 20 years ago, we still dealing with today if we ain't, if we ain't really unpacked it and, and sifted through it and healed and forgave all the parties involved and in, including ourselves because I had to forgive myself for that today. I had to like, we always say hindsight is twenty twenty, but when you think about it, like you really gotta be okay with knowing that you're, you made mistakes in the past. And it wasn't really even a mistake. It was definitely a hard learning opportunity for me. I was taken advantage of at 23 years old. Not only was I taken advantage of with my ex-husband, I was taken advantage of by other contractors in the process. And that hurt. And that put me, you know, in a once bitten, twice shy type of situation. But moving forward 10 years into the future now, 10, 12 years now, I'm able to unpack that situation in therapy and discover why I don't want to deal with contractors or why I feel like I got to like have, you know, my um my my man voice on my deep man voice on my business tone on every time I deal with contractors and not if but when they they f me over like I'm just waiting I'm just embra bracing myself for impact but that state of mind going into the game is not going to be helpful like sure there's contractors that will mess you over they'll take advantage of you if you don't you know what I'm saying know what's going on if you have an understanding of what's going on and it's your job as the investor to do your due diligence. I get that. But there's also the other part where it's like, I can't go in there thinking that everybody's gonna take advantage of me because my ex-husband took advantage of me when I was 23, you know, trying to rebuild after a divorce with his two-year-old child, okay? So with that being said, do the work because there's things that we have to do in our lives and it's gonna be scary. And we know that it's, that we have to do it. We know we have to do it because it's scary. <laughs> That's how we know. But if we're not, you know, unpacking those traumas from the past, we're going to continue to self-sabotage ourselves, or we're going to keep going in this loop and in and, and this cycle of destruction and not knowing why we keep bumping up against the same problem and why we keep getting the same result and not trying something different. Like, that's what therapy is for. You know what I mean? It's things that happened 10, 12 years ago, 10, 20 years ago. We didn't even know what we was doing back then. That's where the grace comes in. Because <laughs> we didn't know what we was doing back then, but now we damn sure can find out why we was doing it and what happened and what was the result. And we can learn from the lessons and we can move forward and we can forgive ourselves and we can forgive the other parties if we decide to do that. Because that's a whole nother conversation. But I just wanted to drop that gem on y'all. Like, it be little things as you grow and you get, you know, higher up in your in your subconscious thought process and and really understand how the brain works and really understanding the motivation behind human behavior. Now we're having our conversation. When when we feel that innate angst and anxiety and 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 visceral feeling behind a new situation we might or a situation that we've come up against before but we don't know why we have that bad feeling we don't know why we ain't messing with that person we don't know why we just met this this new chick but we she ain't she rubbing us the wrong way and we ain't even had two conversations with her some of that is intuition some of that is past trauma <laughs> some of that is just that person reminds you of somebody else that you didn't you know completely resolve the issue with and is coming back to Make sure you get the lesson learned this time, okay? And that's what therapy comes in at. I um, am happy that I discovered the lesson. <laughs> I acknowledged the lesson, and then now I can move forward knowing more information about myself. Because that's really all therapy is about. I think people put 
a bad rep on therapy for whatever reason. You got to be cuckoo crazy. You ain't got to be cuckoo crazy to be in therapy. You can just be, you know, chilling through life and still, you ain't got to have nothing going on crazy. Your world ain't got to be on fire for you to be in therapy. You just, sometimes people just need somebody to unload on that has a neutral stance that ain't, that ain't after nothing. You know what I mean? They don't have no ulterior motives, you know, and family and friends, in all due respect, they be having ulterior motives. <laughs> so we be needing somebody to talk to that don't have that, that dynamic with us. And that's why I'm a huge advocate for therapy. Even if you're not going through anything trying, just to check in, especially if you're getting to the next level in your life, you're going after your life, you got your teeth sunk into your life, like you ain't letting nothing stop you, you know, it's just you and you, like, like I'm thinking about Rocky and shadow boxing in the mirror and jumper rope and you're thinking about your life goals and, and you're going after it, like th that's, that's the time when you should be in therapy, in my humble opinion, because like I said, stuff is going to come up and you're going to be like, I don't know why I am not so excited about this project when I really should be. In my, in my example, it's because I every contractor that I come in contact with, I'm thinking about my ex-husband subconsciously and how he effed me over, me and his daughter over 12 years ago and left us in a damn half-gutted ass house. <laughs> we can laugh about it now, but I wouldn't laugh in 12 years ago. With that being said, if you like this video, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thank you again. Like I always say, invest in yourself. Till next time, love you guys. T speaks. Bye.